A very good evening, Zimbabwe. You are listening to Studio 7 from the Voice of America on Monday, July 27th, 2015. And this is Live Talk. I'm Blessing Zulu. And I'm Chris Gandhi. And tonight on Live Talk, we are talking about uh, the 2018 general elections. To join our discussion, uh, phone us directly at uh, 202 619 and we'll call you back. That number again, 001-202-619-2077. And uh, as usual, Live Talk goes out to Zimbabwe on our 919 medium wave frequency and on the 4930, 5940 and 15460 kilohertz shortwave Monday through Friday at 8.30 p.m. On the internet, you can find us at www.voazimbabwe.com or www.voashona.com or still you can get us on www.voaindebele.com. Joining us, and uh, you are listening to Studio 7 Live Talk. And tonight on Live Talk, we are talking about the 2018 election and uh, the opposition MDCT participation. Yes, blessing. Uh, there are indications that the MDCT is likely to participate in the 2018 general elections, having boycotted elections, saying no reforms, no elections. Uh, but uh, the leadership of the party, of course, is now warming up to the idea of uh, participating, insisting that uh, they will make sure reforms are made before the elections. What do you want us to discuss on Studio 7? If you wish to join the show, phone us directly at 001-202-619-2077. And we'll call you right back. The number again, 001-202-619-2077. Of course, you can also send us a message on WhatsApp. Our number is one. 1- Two zero two four six five zero three one eight, 465 or post messages on Twitter, Facebook, or email at uh, studio7 at voanews.com. Wonguka ama zadiwa nasi tutawuti tingi chitarisa nezwe saruzo zichaitu kwa muna 2018. Zha kubuda hapa Chris nezwe kutive MDC vanga wachi mboti mm. Atisi kuzopinda mu saruzo kushika e, jimwe zwa arudu watishunge zwa gaziris kwa zwa gaziris kwa. E, Bane nge wakuti wakupinda mu saruzo uh, izo zi. E, Vachiti izo bariku fungizira kuti paruzo shika 2018. Zinu zwa chosu nge zwa gaziris kwa. Asa apana ujeka kutichi jino zo itika. E, kana paitu kwa kana kuti zinu zwa chosu taru zwa gaziris kwa. Panozo tanga kuitu kwa saruzo muna 2018. Chris. Yebo yeah, well, blessing uh... Njengo guzo wakwe tulapa siyezo kutu plesi nguti ni ukuluma ke ngotaba loke to ulu ilo ke in shlogo ye ndaba liyala mtlanje EMTC iti ona iza patega kuke to sipka lisile la malu ngisele lo oke to luka 2018 ni kutuwa siyazi kwa nukubana pambilini EMTC bisiti ona no reforms, no elections, okucho uguti kona nga imite to Logunye ukupatela nelezo keto kunga lungisiswa nga kunga kutkulua nga Kaba soze bae kuketo goto hai So kukanya kunga ni e, bae lungisele la batibona Siza ya kuketo ngoba siya zikuti kuya baso kulungile Blessing mm. And I think uh, Chris we have our first uh, guest uh, That is uh, Mr. Madok Chivasa Mr. Chivasa is the spokesperson of the Opposition National Constitutional uh, Assembly uh, Party Mr. Chivasa, good evening. Hey, good evening. Uh, thanks for bringing me to the program. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Chris. You can start the ball rolling. Yes. Uh, Mr. Chivasa, good evening. It's Chris Kande. Yeah, good evening to you. Yes. Um, we know you have uh, insisted as a party that uh, it is better to participate in the elections, even though you know there are some flaws. 
Now, you have heard uh, the MDC. Well, we, when we spoke to them, they are not saying that uh, they have changed their stance, but what they are saying is that by 2018, there will be reforms and then they will participate. What's your take on that? Yeah, well, I think the first thing that I need to clarify is that uh, the MDC stance will be that part of the stance. And uh, obviously, you understand that is the MC. We now a new opposition that was formed, and they were formed with full realization that there were other opposition political parties like MDC. So it means that obviously the approach by MDC is exactly why the MC was formed. We are there because we believe that we also need, now need to be there to do things the way we think uh, is the best way to fight the NPF. So I believe that that will be their own strategy. And, uh, as far as we are concerned, uh, we know that uh, the problem that we are in is because we have a new concern that is still giving a lot of powers to the sitting president. And this is why most of the elections are not uh, are not really uh, free and fair, because most of the laws, they give uh, favor to, to a sitting president. For example, is the one who appoints the the one who appoints the media commission, and these are all, all uh, you know, institutions that are very pivotal in running elections. And during the um, the, the constant making process, we raise these things when we're still an NGO, and uh, it's our colleagues in the MDC who are moving around telling Zimbabwe to vote yes to this constitution. So obviously, we also wonder in terms of the reforms that they need. I think it will also be beneficial to the nation and to all interested parties. If they are very clear in terms of what reforms they are they referring to, because as far as we are concerned, as the NCA, we thought that a new concern would be the reform that we will need. For example, if you if we're going to include uh, in the new concern that uh, people in the diaspora are allowed to vote, for example, that was going to be a major step ahead uh, in removing Zanzibar, because we know that most of the people in the diaspora they don't even know uh, once Zanzibar was uh, they are dead, was they ran away from uh, Zanzibar's governance. But when we're raising this issues, our colleagues again, they were the ones who were saying, no, this constant actually allows the people in the diaspora to vote. And now we are seeing that uh, to the contrary, this constant is not even allowing the people in the diaspora to vote. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Chivasa. And we are now being joined by our second guest, uh, that is uh, Mr. Nick Mangwana uh, in the UK. Yes, to tell us exactly where he is, uh, because as you know, anyone in the UK is in London, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, uh, I am in London. <laughs> Finally, we have someone from London. <laughs> Who is real, real in London. <laughs> Mr. Chivasa, how are you? Uh, okay, this is a problem. Mm. Now, uh, Mr. Nick Mangwana, of course, is the ZANU-PF uh, chairperson uh, for the UK province. Uh, Mr. Mangwana, there are indications that uh, the MDCT, which has been boycotting elections, will actually uh, participate uh, in the 2018 uh, general election. This is what we are getting from the leadership of that party. Are you surprised? I'm not. Not at all. They were not boycotting. They were running away. They were chickening out of elections. Mm. So obviously, 2018 is a big one. As you know, after after um, the 2013 elections, they participated in a few primaries. Uh, sorry, in a few by elections. Um, I think a couple of, of parliamentary ones and uh, council ones. And they were we wiped the floor with them, and they realized the momentum was not with them, and they they were suffering too much humiliation. Mm -hmm. So they started just raising a lot of dust for nothing really. I totally agree with them. Um, <laughs> well, what Mr. Chivasa is saying in, 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 uh, regarding reform, the, 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 the goalpost of any reform was the Constitution. If people were, if they were talking about the alignment of the law, of the laws is the reform they're waiting for, I would understand. But what they are talking about is what somebody would call a cultural reform. <laughs> now, how do you reform a culture? <laughs> we, 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 you know what I mean? As far as the legal framework is concerned, it's all set there. It says the security forces are nonpartisan. It says the defense um, forces are nonpartisan. It says everybody should be given um, a, 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 well enough enough latitude to to, to to expose their ideas and so forth and so on. This is the legal framework. Mm -hmm. What happens culturally might be different. I'm not saying it's different. If, if what happens culturally is different, what do you do about it? How, how do you how do you legislate that reform? You can't take culture by 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 by, 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 by people, can you? <laughs> so this is this is this, this 
they 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 Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Mangwana. Uh, of course, yeah, we we're trying to get in touch with the MDCT uh, deputy spokesperson, uh, Honorable Tavita Kumalo, because of course we cannot get angry on behalf of the MDC, Chris. Yes. We are journalists. <laughs> Luckily, we have here uh, to get angry on behalf of the uh, opposition MDCT. Honorable Kumalo, good evening. Very good evening, and thank you for inviting me. Thank you so much, Mr. Gad. <laughs> Yes, uh, uh, Ms. Kumalo, we, uh, you came right in the middle of the conversation where Mr. Mangwana was uh, saying uh, your decision uh, seems uh, to be, well, these are my own words, uh, flip-flopping. What do you say to that? Uh, well, it's so sad that uh, uh, Mr. Mangwana is now the, the decision-maker of our party. Oh, and I, I have never seen him in our National Standing Committee meeting, we are not flip-flopping. What is the point for one when they are sick to go to a hospital knowing very well that they are no doctors, they are no nurses, there's no medication? The end result is death. We are not flip-flopping at the MDC. Our position is very clear. We can not go to an election that is already predetermined. And all what we are asking for is nothing new or nothing old. We are saying we need a transparent process of voter registration. Because as we speak now, voter registration is taking place, but it is not advertised to those that are not registered as voters. But you will find to say these people are able to go and register. And how do they know about that when other Zimbabweans don't know about it? And the issue of I'm a Zimbabwean, why should I produce proof of registered residence when I'm a Zimbabwean? In 1980, we went to the elections and we used our ID. In fact, that I got an identity card that was issued by the government of Zimbabwe, I should have a right to vote. So the issue of proof of residence must not be a requirement for one to register and vote as long as I put my ID as a Zimbabwean. And the other issue is, we, it's, it's now a world of technology. There is a greater need for us to have a, a biometric voter flow. Why are we using the tedious and the time-consuming voter uh, flow where we can't even access it? And again, what we're asking for is parties must be able to receive the electronic voter flow three months prior to the election. So that we are able to go through the voters so, and check for anomalies which can then be corrected before we go to the elections. And thereafter, uh, parties that are interested in that election should then be able to sign for that uh, voters so, as, a, as a true record. Mm. 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 Interesting. Uh, okay, blessing. We uh, seem to have a caller, yes. Uh, Silom Laleli Lapa O Simon Lusinga O Se Zimbabwe Gunjani Mnumzana Lusinga. I say a pila we swilling da vese good winda. Uya kuluma loko, 
abantu balandile kusasa achinje lo achinje akhulu mulotiana so lokho ukwenza kwake kunika i ground i can say you think is it's a shorter ground of zanu pf to gain in knowledge within the political arena in zimbabwe despite the fact that abantu be zimbabwe zana ba bahlai phone so tina sasa sithande umkhokelo ofathileyo ukuthi kumele kwenziwe now ama reforms afunekayo but to be very clear kuna zaba ama reforms abawazi yobona abodwa we all need to know and then now we go to ama reforms according to the constitution the constitutional court is there we haven't heard them going to the constitutional court and complain and say look there's apcd neither have they gone to the zimbabwe electoral commission to talk about this all they are doing is to take people this side and the other side while is an pf you look around the pf Ama, ama 
can you elaborate? He says he can also understand for the benefit of uh, the other listeners and uh, those who are joining us. What we are saying is we need the reforms for us to have a truly free, fair and credible election. So what is critical now is for the MDC party to go to the institution and that MDC as a party gives MDC party. Uh, okay. I think you're asking me as a representative of the MDC, led by Tangira. So that is my response. Okay, you can go ahead with your response. We need them to go to these institutions and lay our demands in terms of reform and see the response that we get from them. And if that fails, we then take the next course of action. So for the time being, we are having going to these institutions laying bare our demand as the MDC party led by Zangra. And if we don't get any choice, we will then take the next case course of action, which is going to be prescribed by the results that we get from these institutions where we are demanding changes. Okay. Mr. Lusing, are you there? No, I'm there, Baba. I'm sure you've been all answered. The, all now. the replies are not satisfactory to me, but I don't want to hold on to all other callers. Let them contribute as well. Thank you so much. But I'm not, I'm not well satisfied with, uh, with, with their actual answers because they are vague. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Have a <laughs> lovely night. That uh, is a sign that I've said something that is at home. Because if it was vague, you would have asked me another question. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of course, uh, some people are also writing on WhatsApp. Let's quickly read some of the messages. Ed Moore says, boycotting of national elections by the MDC led by former Prime Minister uh, Morgan Changira is the only way to go. In fact, this is the time for them to discuss the full implementation of the reforms before an attempt. Uh, making preparations is not bad, but what is more important is uh, the creation of an even playing ground the 2013 scenario will still prevail. Honestly, if they can't bear the pressure from different quarters, they will repeat the same story come 2018. Bakugu says 2018 is quite far, so it's okay for the MDC to prepare. A lot could have changed by then, including some electoral reforms. Fore says it's better to participate because ZANPF does not think about the people of Zimbabwe. They just think about themselves. Clyde says just recently, Changrai was singing no reforms, no elections. What has made them change? I have learned not to trust him uh, after causing the split in 2005 by refusing uh, to take part in the elections for the uh, senators against the majority. Chris says they should participate, otherwise they betray us. Jela says they must prepare at the same time demanding uh, reforms. We'll read more of these. Regards. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Fungwa ya itwa na president Morgan Changira hii ndi noi kuru zira ne kuitambira ne mawoko mawiri chaiwo. Mm-hmm. Amen. 
wa wakuru wedu wa waweza anu wa wataka watiza ku Zimbabwe wa waka wondonga nyika atina kumbo vila ataka mbo shanda mwono nzimi industry atito mbo izile mhm saka kuno kwa tiri ku South Africa tatofarira kuti takapo wa mapemi ita no expire 2017 saka 2018 tinege tiri kwa tichivu wata pachi nja pa watu wangira ya mhm tiri kwa mbudiri oti gazili sezino makamba na hakuna mabasa haka promise kwa wana hakuna wabiri kuhedu wari kufani nzara kumusha kuna kana marize chigayo hakuna kana chibage chacho mm-hmm. saka kumbo isa ongwe munu ropa idra ino sunungura nyika edu niku kuyona ili nzira ya kana kachayo taitambira ni mwoko mawiri na ya wakasa soso chinja mwoyo watangira ya wedu hapa mhm saka murotu wapinde msarudzo saka tukuto kumbira kutinga wapinde msarudzo uye zakare ingwe na uya tukuto kumbira kutitungwe tuma mdc tukumuka muka otuko wanu weza anu iwa wawo wari kudamari wawo saka wanu weza nga wadu uko 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 wari kunyenge zi wanga wawo ye kwedu kumusanga no mkuru kwa wachangira yu kutinga ziri ze zinu mhm kunyangu wazo tisinga kuru zire mkuma danmo kutititi e, mamu mapato waninga mkato te anu zo tigirana neza anu wakadaya kadai e, iko ziri webundu wese utanga batu raki anditi gizo zo asi mm-hmm. maundu kire avaru kuita atisunya soko maona kwa rara osaka Gwarare msangano wedu we kare ndo wata kuto kumbira re MDC chinja hii mm-hmm. Kutirichi zogere panyanga, tichi sunuguru weti zogere kwenyika kwedu Takusu wa wakoma nana wafikana Hai watinu tenda shukuru mkuma mm-hmm. Danmo ni kupinda mchino kwa chedu Tatenda mko mm-hmm. Of course uh, Danmo is in South Africa He's saying the MDC must participate uh, in the forthcoming elections He's uh, not making it any secret He's saying he's an MDC T uh, supporter Chris Okay, uh, maybe we can go back to Mr. Mangwana. Mm-hmm. Mr. Mangwana? Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. yeah, earlier on, uh, there were mentioned, there was talk of uh, 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 diaspora voters. I know you're in the diaspora, but uh, what's your take on that? Because uh, apparently it's one of the issues on the table that the MDC <laughs> is worried about. What, what's your take yes, on that? This- if this if these people, the MDC, uh, were boycotting elections because of diaspora voting, then they are ignorant. The point is, with the diaspora voting, even British people, after 15 years out of the country, do not vote in 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 in, um, in, 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 in elections in Britain, right? Regarding diaspora voting, if any person in the diaspora, like my South African brother was just saying, my brother from South Africa was just saying. If they go to Zimbabwe and register, they would vote in an election in Zimbabwe. But in any other country, wouldn't be able to do that if they don't have that voting. What they are asking for is extraterritorial voting. Now that's different. They are trying to say the government of Zimbabwe should put money aside, transport ballot boxes or whatever, and facilitate so people to vote wherever they are in whatever country. Where there is no policy, some countries have got 2,000 people, some Zimbabweans, some countries have got 20, some countries have got probably 200, 300,000, and so on and so forth. But they want the, the, the government of Zimbabwe to allocate boxes to all these people to be voting. But Mr. Mr. Mangwana, Mr. Mangwana, Mr. Mangwana. Yeah. Uh, these Zimbabweans are not contributing. From the Arab is it's saying uh, they are actually the ones who are contributing more to the economy. Yes. Don't they have the yes. right to vote? I, <laughs> I'm saying when it comes to the right to vote, mm-hmm. it's down to a policy. Mm-hmm. And I'm giving you an example of a very, very, uh, what, what people believe is a robust democracy, mm-hmm. which is Great Britain, where if you stay out of the country for so if, yeah, for 15 years, you won't be able to vote. Most countries which have got this type of uh, this, uh, this extra, extra territorial voting, you have got a limit of six years. You stay out of the country for more than okay, six Mr. years. Okay, Mr. Mangwana, you can't vote. Uh, yeah. Hold your thought there. We'll come back to you. We just want to t- take a very short break. It's an interesting uh, discussion. Mkoma Simba, Rambay Muri Parunare. Mr. Chivasa, please do stay on the line. Honorable Kumalo. Uh, please do stay on the line for our radio listeners. Unfortunately, uh, it ends here, but the good news is uh, we are streaming live. So go to www.voazimbabwe.com and press on live talk. We are also on uh, Facebook and on uh, YouTube. You can also visit our website uh, after uh, the show. Uh, this uh, program will be there. 
uh, this is a blessing Zulu. And you can text us at 202 2077 and we'll call you right back. This is Chris Gande. Please do stand by for the sh- after the short break. We'll be back. you who are just uh, joining us a uh, good evening and uh, this is uh, studio 7 live talk and tonight on live talk we are talking about uh, the 2018 elections and uh, the biggest question uh, for the opposition mdct if uh, it was uh, in uh, shakespeare's uh, words to be or not to be that is uh, the question uh, will the uh, main opposition party uh, contest in the 2018 elections? Uh, uh, the MDC has been uh, boycotting by elections, uh, saying that uh, if uh, there are no reforms, they will not participate in the elections. But uh, the leadership seems to be warming up to the idea of uh, participating in uh, 2018. Chris. Yes, blessing. And uh, just a quick question to t- uh, Mr. Tabitha uh, Kumalo. Um, there was there was this story uh, that appeared uh, a couple of weeks ago, where a U.S. Uh, senator asked the wisdom of boycotting uh, elections, and now uh, we are reading from some uh, news uh, sites that are saying uh, uh, probably you are changing course because of uh, that kind of pressure. Could you tell us uh, is that true? You know that is not very true. One thing that people don't understand is the political dynamics of Zimbabwe. And the people that are commenting on the political dynamics of Zimbabwe who are outside Zimbabwe have a perception and an expectation and basing their analysis of what is happening in their countries where there's democracy. In this country, there's nothing like that. Because in this country, the truth is turned into a lie. A lie is turned into the truth. Peace looks like war, and war looks like peace. The reason why we boycotted because was because we cannot go to an election that is already predetermined. And why is it being? Why are we saying predetermined? We were vindicated by Robert Gabriel Mugabe at his Congress, where he slipped and said in 2008, the President Sandra won the elections by 78 percent. And we have been saying that. Time in memorial that Danupe is rigging winning the elections. So what we are saying is we are not going to go to a hospital where there's no doctor, there's no nurse, there's no medication, there are no beds. What we are saying, we want to go to an election where there are reforms, where these elections are going to be true, credible to everybody else. And we have been saying that, I want to go to Mangwan. I am so shocked that we have the person who is Zimbabwean, I hope, based in the diaspora, who is telling us that the issue of uh, uh, people with diaspora voting in ballots being sent to all these countries. It is okay for Zanupi to demand the money of the diaspora for the upkeep of this country, but it is not okay for the same people that are sending money to their loved ones in Zimbabwe to be denied the right to vote and make a decision of which government should run the country of Zimbabwe in order for the diaspora to stop sending money to buy bread to, to their loved ones in Zimbabwe. And second, the, the, the other issue of uh, 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 the 200 people, the 2,000 people, why are these Zimbabweans outside the country if everything uh. in Zimbabwe is okay? There are no jobs in this country. As we are speaking, 6,000 people have been fired in the past weeks. And everybody is now a, a, a vendor. So that is why people like Mangwana are in the UK, benefiting the sweat and blood of the British. Who fought okay. to have democratic dis- dispensation in their country. And all what we are saying in the MDC, we want a democratic press process where everybody chooses the leader of their choice, of their choice not under duress. And not Tavita as I am a, 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 a chief who vote on my behalf because it's perceived I'm not educated. Once upon a time, 94% of Zimbabweans were very, very literate. 
So everybody can really vote and put an X because no one is writing their name. They're just putting an X against the person of their choice. Mm -hmm. Mr. Hamangwana, of course, okay. has the right to respond. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. You see, when, you, when I say, I, I got my mother in Zimbabwe, I send her money every month. But when I send money to my mom, I'm not giving money to the government of Zimbabwe. I'm giving my mom to, 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 my, to my mom. It's a, just an economic imperative. When I give that money to my mom, it has got a trickle-down effect. Because my mom is going to buy so-and-so and it helps the economy. This is the contribution of the diaspora. Not that the diaspora are paying taxes. People, the Americans who are in the, in the American diaspora, who are in Britain or wherever, they are in Germany and so on, they vote as those pay taxes directly to, to, to the United States of America, no matter where they are. That's why they vote. Diasporans do not pay any taxes to the government of Zimbabwe, but they look after their loved ones. It's, it's, it's a normal job they do. It's a very, very, very helpful um, role they play. They, we cannot underplay that, but it does not automatically say, equate to give money to the government of Zimbabwe. The government of Zimbabwe, yes, is coming to the diaspora looking for money, but it is in terms of, sorry, diaspora bonds, which is an investment and so on. So that's what really giving money. Now let's come back to one of the so-called key reforms that I've just been listening to. I've never listened to something so mundane. How can you say that asking for somebody to provide a proof of address is wrong? When you go to the bank to open an account, they want a proof of address. When you go to uh, the editor to open a proof of open an account, they want a proof of address. Why? Because it's a waste fraud. You, in one point, you are, you are accusing the Zambia for a of fraud. Then the other, on the, on the, on the next day, in, in another line, you are actually want to open the whole system to fraud. Because in a system where you, somebody has to just go with their ID, you can go all around the country as long as you can drive to vote or to register. So it makes the whole system very, very slow. So I do not know if that's the reform they want. It's not even these are not reform. They are asking for their own opinion to be applied. There is a law, which uh, there is a electoral act, which is in place, which will be actually is being aligned, uh, 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 aligned with the Constitution. So that's the law that's there. If, if that is not in the, in the law, then it's not there. Well, nobody says they should have less parliamentarians in, 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 in the House of Assembly. That's, that's, that's just that's a government position, government position. Mm -hmm. uh, let's uh, bring uh, Mr. Mr. Chivasa, your party, your party, Mr. Chivasa, has been uh, participating uh, in these uh, e elections. Uh, what can you say uh, needs to change, or are you happy with uh, uh, the situation? Yeah, I think uh, me, 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 what uh, listeners need to understand is uh, mm -hmm. the basis of our participation first. I think this is something that a lot of people choose to ignore when we're explaining that, uh, when we're explaining our reason why we are participating in this election, why a new political party. Mm -hmm. The whole reason why we are, we, why we are participating in these by-elections is to, to be well versed with the system where it's so fast to know exactly like uh, what happens uh, during nominations, what happens during uh, the, the pre-election period and after the elections. And uh, what, we, what we find out is that uh, now we have a lot of things that, that, that we, we've actually raised with, with this next example uh, to say the, the media coverage. We're saying that, uh, not say that every time when you listen to, to ZBC News, uh, it will be as if Zantes is contesting itself. When we also have candidates, they, they will just announce Zantes candidates. So those are just basic things that we believe that you can also even correct those things while it, uh, 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 you are participating in it. But I think most importantly in terms of the reforms, I think uh, Honorable Kumalo also need to be honest uh, with listeners. Mm -hmm. I think the reason, if you go back uh, a bit uh, uh, to history, it will reveal that when the MDC went into an inclusive government with Zantef, the major reason that they were giving a Zimbabwean uh, who were feeling that kind of alliance was to say that, no, we are getting into an inclusive government so that we get the reforms that are necessary for us to have a free and fair election. That was the reason that they, 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 they said to us. And the, the only reform that we know that came out, out of that alliance is the new constitution, which some of us even were quite clear to say, no, we don't believe that uh, 
most of these provisions makes our elections democratic. So I think uh, sometimes, of course, it's good to to talk and talk and talk and talk and talk, but they also need to check themselves. It was in the, in the English government to get reforms, and they failed to get those reforms. And now they are now saying they are now expecting Zambia to give us those reforms when they have actually failed to give us the reforms themselves. I think it's quite laughable, in my own opinion. Mm -hmm. Uh, Chris, uh, maybe just quickly, um, uh, Simba on the line. Uh, good evening, Simba. How are you? I'm doing great. Uh, your take. Uh, no, I don't think it's going to be a good thing. No, I'm just disturbed. Mm -hmm. I think the NDC should, they should just get their priorities right. Mm -hmm. Because I think just like the NPS, they, they take people for granted. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, you know that uh, a few months ago they had this mantra, no reforms, no elections. Mm -hmm. But my question to them is, why are they calling for reforms now? They had so much, they had ample time to do that because they had time in the inclusive government. They should have called for uh, electoral reforms there, let alone the elections that were still in 2018. They should have boycotted from it. They had much leverage because they were in government. Now, just a few months, uh, so just a few, uh, just a few minutes ago, I'm hearing that they are saying we are now drumming up support for 2018. Now, one would just say these people, are they serious about the plight of the Zimbabwean people? Are they serious about uh, taking the Zimbabwean people out of this misery? I speak because I'm not affiliated to any political party. But when I hear about people, politicians, I'm hearing about this guy he's calling himself Mangwana. He's speaking from the comfort of London. He's divorced from the here. People have no jobs. People have nothing. They can't put food on the table. He's speaking from the uh, from the comfort of London. But then we are languishing in poverty here. We have a government that is so ill, that is so irresponsible. We have people that even don't that they don't even really care about uh, the plight of the people. So I'm saying the MDC team, just like some they are taking us for granted because we are not robots. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, Simba, let's uh, start with uh, um, Honorable uh, Kumalo. Do you want to ask a question? She's representing the MDC before we go uh, to Mr. Mangwana. What, what would be the question that you might want you to answer? Honorable Kumalo, to me, I would just ask you. I know she's in the national executive of the MDCG. I would ask you, why, why, why did you participate in a election that was so stage managed in 2018? I, 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 the election was robbed. Everyone knows that the MDCG will never budge to elections. They, they, they will never budge to this uh, reform mantra. Now, if we are going to the elections in 2018, what guarantee do we have from them that the election is stage managed as it is? Oh, uh, thank you. Honorable Kumar. Uh, on the issue of um, getting our priorities right, we have our priorities very right. The third thing that we have in this country is uh, something comes up, we are mandate driven, and we are pressurized to say, go for it. You go for, go for, go for, for, for the election. And you ask me why reforms now. The reason why we are asking for reforms is we cannot keep on trying to say things are not moving, the, 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 the landscape is not conducive for anyone to go to, to, to any election. And what about the inclusive government? When we in the inclusive government, we came up with a roadmap with 29 items that we needed to implement. But the need and the obstacle that was there, ZANUPF did not want those uh, uh, reforms to be implemented because they knew that they were going to lose power. And for your own information, power is not like opening or is not going to buy a house. Power, you are literally taking power from somebody to yourself. And that person would never give you on a silver plate. You will need to fight and get those reforms. And what guarantees we have we're going to get the reforms? 2008, we went to an election and Zanipiv unleashed terror on our people. And it's what we can here today. We are still missing 500 comrades of our party who we have no clue where they are, and obviously they can be perceived, they, they, they perceived to be dead. But what is critical is, is that we need to demand those reforms. 
and we will come to the If they don't, we will come up with a way forward in terms of how then do we achieve that. Coming to matter of Chibas, what is the they are going to an election, a by-election recently, and they got a paltry 107 vote. Surely, if the playing field was level, I would have expected them maybe to have lost by three or 400 votes against 9,500 votes. That then confirms that the people that are in control of the election process is unfair. And there is no way they are going to lose unless and until we get this reform. And the Zanupir will not buy it. We were instructed by our Congress that we take Zanupir screaming and shouting to the boardroom, and we did, and we got the GMU. And one thing that people must understand is that in any political scenario, there is no way where you can go for training and then come back and implement. You train as you go. And you are bound to meet obstacles, try and resolve them, and you don't. So there is no other country, another Zimbabwe too, that we can all go and learn how to implement the democracy, how to come up with reforms. No. But in Zimbabwe, we have suffered long enough, and we know what, what is causing our problem. So let's demand reform so that we go to a free Election. Okay, let's ask uh, Simba to ask uh, Mr. Mangwana his last question. Simba? Mm. Uh, Mr. Mangwana. That is in Diakura in Yeah, let me okay. Mr. Mangwana, Mr. Mangwana, the way you speak, it just shows that you are devoted to the reality of what is obtaining on the ground. Mm -hmm. Because you, are, you, you, you have to come back home and experience the experience the mm Now, what I want to ask you is, mm -hmm. so, uh, as a party, of course, as a party, of course, I cannot ask you about uh, how if you care about it, because I know you don't. But then I want to ask if ever, do you understand that our election system is flawed? It's not flawed. I, part I, I, I actually go to Zimbabwe to vote on any election, so it's not flawed. So it's for what? Mm -hmm. so where, 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 where is the flawed? Right? It's flawed because you cannot have people that are cherry picked. Those are parties that are cherry picked by the president so that they can continue the ideology of the ruling party. We all know Justice George Wesh, we all know. It's a militarized system. It's a system that is so zanified. It's a system where there is a prison for former Zanupian scudders. It's actually, they are changing as a way of perpetuating the suffering of the country, the suffering of the, uh, the masses of Zimbabwe. Can you ask me, do you understand yes. yourself? Are these people uh, picked outside the provisions of the national constitution or? They play, they, play, they, they, they are picked in, in accordance with the constitution. They are cherry picked according to the provincial basis of the constitution, and of course, okay. What what what, what I'm looking for, what I'm looking at is their partisan, uh, their partisanship. They, they, Richard Makarawa is the former MP. We all know, okay, just just. Uh, 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 just recently, we had a violation in Uruguay whereby a person who is not even registered as a, as a candidate, as a voter, he has been sworn in as a member of parliament, whereby uh, even the uh, chairperson of the, she even acknowledged herself that uh, they made a mistake, but what are they doing about it? And that's how flawed the system is. I, 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 I understand where you're coming from, but let's not forget that, firstly, Justice so Makarao was a non-constituent MP, so she was not a Zanupir's MP when she was an MP. But that's, 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 that's a bias. Mm -hmm. The most important thing is Justice Makarao was not picked by Robert Mugabe for that post, was picked by Robert Mugabe and Morgan Changrai for that post. And Morgan Changrai came out in the loaded pedigree as the right person for that, for that job. So unless we are saying, unless we are saying, um, Morgan Changre is a naive individual, um, then that would be for another day. But I, I don't remember the president had taken uh, just Makarov by himself. 
Mm. Uh, okay, uh, Simba, thank you so much. We just want to uh, take other um, uh, callers, but uh, uh, thank you so much. Uh, Chris? Uh, yes, blessing. Uh, we have Facebook? some Facebook messages here, quite a lot of them. I'll see if I can read uh, some of them. The first one is from Mokena Denzo, who says, uh, maybe MDCT thinks it can win the elections, but I doubt it. Maybe if all the pieces of MDC can unite and form a bigger opposition party, it can win. Mange Love says boycotting never meant a stopping preparations. Tarire Chingo says reforms and leadership change are important. Tswangirai will never win because he'll be fighting two fronts. Don't underrate people first and BT plus G4. I don't know what G4, maybe it's one of those parties. And he says, beware of Dr. GM. She would quickly reform everything. Uh, Munyarad's Mitzi says, I always support their move because it always sounds reasonable to me. By boycotting, they want to show the world that things are not going okay. And let me just read the final one, Blessing. Yeah. Of course, like I said, there are quite a lot. I'll just read the last one. It's uh, from Mtanda Zonkomo who says, no need to participate because even if the MDCT wins, it's not going to be counted like last time. Mm -hmm. uh, on WhatsApp with Alfred, who says, although the MDC is citing electoral irregularities and unfairness by ZEC and ZANU-PF, it is uh, a right decision for it to be uh, participating in 2018. Uh, and uh, this is um, uh, another, the last one comes from Jerry, who says, I think Mujuru and Mutasa have disclosed to them how ZANU-PF rigs elections. Uh, those are some of the uh, messages we are receiving uh, from our listeners, uh, Chris. Yes, uh, Mr. Madok Chibasa. Yes. Yeah, since you guys have been participating in the elections, what do you make of uh, the media reforms? Because uh, we have had uh, complaints in the past where uh, the opposition is hardly given any coverage on uh, state media. Uh, what is your experience uh, so far, and what do you want uh, to see change? Yeah, um, I think what we want to see is a change uh, as soon as possible is MC. Uh, is that uh, we believe that if there's an election, then uh, obviously there must be media coverage to all candidates. The, the, the essence of an election, an election is to say that uh, the electorate, electorate are being given a chance to choose between candidates. So there's no way that then they can just uh, be able to make a good choice if uh, they, are, they are not then exposed to all the candidates. I think that, that needs to be to be improved. But I also want to um, uh, to, go to correct my colleague, the Honorable Kumalo. Uh, I think uh, she was giving reference to to the results of the mood by elections, where she's saying no probably if there were some reforms, those reforms that that, that, that she's supporting, then uh, you're going to get a lot of, of votes. I think this is where, where people need to get it correct. Sometimes it's important that when you, when, when you want to comment about what happens in other people's political parties, you need to have correct information and then also a correct understanding of what those people are doing. For example, the votes that she's saying, 107, part of votes. To us, those are not even part of votes. As far as we are concerned, you will be shocked that if you came to the NCA the head office uh, over the weekend, you would actually see NCA members there celebrating those 107 votes. Because before that, we did not even have a single person in mood. But now we know that we have 107 people. These are people who just voted for the NCA. They were not beaten by anyone. They were not forced to go and vote. They just see the people who believe that NCA can be an alternative. So to us, since we are just starting, those are very good votes for us. So I think, obviously, in terms of uh, uh, the way forward uh, as opposite political parties, I think I'll urge my colleague, uh, Honorable Kumar, to say that. Well, it's good to, if you've if you got your own fight, you've got your own reasons. I think that's the democratic right. There are also other opposing political parties who now, therefore, who also believe that uh, we can actually also remove the anti using uh, different approaches. And I think in terms of uh, the way I see things, obviously, any person uh, thinking to say, no, this is the correct way uh, to move forward, this is the correct way to remove the that cannot be a, a, a problem as far as I see it. And this is its own, its own good reasons to take certain actions, just as well as NCA will have 
its own good reason why it should do say certain things. I think that, that must be the way we must proceed as opposition political parties. Mm. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, maybe Honorable Kumalo, you can respond to him and the way forward. Thank you very much, Comrade Mato. We've been in the trenches together. Nothing, nothing is new. Mm -hmm. I hear you loud and clear. All what I'm saying is that uh, you cannot say that we should not comment on other political parties when you can comment about our parts. Mm -hmm. So I was just responding to your comment about our parts. But having said that, my strongest, our strongest belief. We have one common enemy is the opposition party in the country. And that one com common enemy is unclear. The time has come for us to put our heads to together and stop this madness that is costing the lives of our people and costing jobs of our people, livelihoods. We have, we have to look at this one common agenda of removing the media. And the time for convergence is now. We did it in, 19, in 1996. And I don't see why we can do it in, 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 in 2018. We, we have to look at because our first surname is Zimbabwe before our second party. That way, we can celebrate this country and reinstate the livelihood of, of the people. So they have suffered more than that. And then on the issue of the uh, uh, NTA having voters and what have you, Zanupia should die in, in divide and rule. So that's kind of what it means. Can you imagine if you're 15 from the opposition for the party with all these days? At the end of the day, we would get those votes together as the opposition. We need a big sanity. But the fact that we are splitting votes, that is the, the price that we are paying today, where we are losing jobs, we are now going down. And coming to uh, uh, Mangwana, we spoke of the issue of the senators that the what are the issues of our school coaches. Zimbabwe is a very small country. There was no need at the time for us to have the Senate. So that's a huge cost to, to the big country. So our position as NBC was very clear that we cannot go to the Senate because it is going to cost a fortune for, for the taxpayers. So there was a huge wisdom. And I want to agree with the Comrade Mato when he said a, 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 a Mangwana is divorced from reality. He claims that he's sending money to his mother. His mother is maybe he's, he's running a supermarket. She's paying taxes to the same government that is that is violating our rights. So he's boosting he is helping his mother to pay his unpaid taxes, which taxes are denying his right to to, 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 to to talk about what we are feeling. Those same taxes are being used to, to abduct Itai Zamara and it disappears into thin air. Those taxes are used to pick us up with battle sticks. Those taxes are being used for us to be to, to not to be employed. So my friend, who the coffee and come home and see what exactly is happening. Mm. Who will as a deep profit? That doesn't work. And the issue of who Americans got it. Uh, Mangwana Comrade, please uh, come to reality. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Mangwana, you <laughs> have the <laughs> constitutional <laughs> right to <laughs> respond. <laughs> don't, 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 don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't, don't, don't worry about me. Um, the I, 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 we have to be a group of residents. Going to vote is not about opening a bank account. Uh, uh, it's ready. about fraud. It's, so it's all about prevention of fraud, that's the point. Let's give Mr. Bangwana the last word. What, I, uh, what, 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 what's the problem with uh, uh, Honorable Kumalo? What's your problem? What's your problem with proving your, your, your address? I mean, when you're speaking to me, I was listening. It, 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 when you think of making an interview, all okay. what I'm okay. saying, you raise an issue that is, what is the key reform, not wrong with proof of residence. When you go to the bank, you need to have proof of residence. I agree with you, that's a bank. But when I, I want to go and think, that is why I'm a citizen of Zimbabwe, because I was given an identity card. And that's what I'm saying, you need to be in touch with reality. When you are going to get an ID, all that information is kept up by the registrar office. Ah, Honorable Kumalo. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Honorable Kumalo. And uh, Mr. 
Bambana and Mr. Chiwasa, unfortunately, time is not our best ally. Interesting the discussion. We might have to continue it uh, another day. But we also want to thank uh, our callers, uh, our listeners, uh, those who sent us uh, messages on Facebook and WhatsApp, and of course, our team behind the scenes, our producers and engineers. Signing off, uh, this is yours truly, Blessing Zulu. And I'm um, Chris Gande. Good night, Zimbabwe.